Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronix Fix. Today we're going to be taking a look at a hard shell backpack for the DJI Mavic Pro provided to us by Light Take so we can review it for you. Now I've reviewed a hard shell case, I reviewed, I've reviewed a soft shell case, and now it's time to review a hard shell backpack. Let's get it open and take a look and see what we think of the hard shell backpack. So this is the first look of it. It uh, looks nice. The back is a really nice feeling material. It's got a good look to it. The front is interesting. I'm not sure about this bulge. It seems like to me, I would prefer something that's kind of got a flat um, surface, but at the same time, I'm guessing that this bulge is there for a purpose and that's probably to help when something falls on it. It does feel like this case is pretty sturdy. This is an aluminum shell on the case. So this looks like something that may be something good to travel with, throw it in the overhead bin of the airplane. And another nice thing is nobody's going to know that you've got something expensive in here. They're not going to know that it's, you know, your DJI Mavic Pro. It looks like just a regular backpack that just has, you know, whatever in it. I can say that I do see some scratching already. That may be just from shipping. Um, I'm not really sure, but the service on this is obviously gonna get scratched up if you're gonna be using it for traveling and that sort of a thing. Now let's unzip it and have a look inside. So it unzips and it looks like it actually has quite a bit of space inside. It's got some uh, perfume, Lily perfume inside. And it looks like it's got a space for pretty much everything you need. One thing I see right away, it's got enough for three batteries right here. And then you can have a battery inside your drone when you put it in. So that's actually nice. It's got a um, room for an extra battery. Most of these cases just have room for two, but this one's got an extra, actually, now that I look, it's got room for four batteries. So you could have a total of five batteries in this case, which is amazing. Most, like I said, most have room for two batteries and then the one in the drone itself. So you can have four batteries plus the one in the drone. It's got some extra slots up here and probably one of these is extra because your charger will go in one and you know you can just put whatever you want in the other. So that looks really good. This is very roomy for a case. And then of course you do have the extra room over here. You've got actually a lot of room. I would say a good three inches over here, as well as a zipper pouch here and a pocket pouch and a couple pen holders there. So this is a really nice roomy backpack. And so far I'm actually liking it a lot more than I thought I would, but let's put it to the test and pack our drone in here and see how much room it actually has. We've still got room for two more batteries and there's a lot of room for small things in this hole and this one and in this one. So there's a ton of room in this backpack for this drone. So you got room for all kinds of stuff, which is nice. Now my one concern with this is all this stuff is gonna be floating around inside the backpack unless you have something in here to put some pressure down on it. So that's gonna be a problem and I'm not impressed with that part. Let's zip this up and see how it feels. So we have it in there. The problem is gonna be if it goes over like this, I mean, you can hear everything just rattling around in there and that is a problem. So let's open it back up now and just see. So all of the stuff that was in there, of course this stuff was in there loosely, so that's not, completely fair to the, to the backpack. But at the same time, all of this stuff, if it's rattling around enough, especially, you know, if you're going on an airplane trip or something like that, this stuff's gonna come out, all of it, unless you have, you know, a good amount of padding up here or something up here to keep it from, you know, coming out. So I definitely um, don't like that part about the backpack. But as I look at it, this piece of fabric right here is definitely gonna help because it'll, it'll rest on these, but this could come out and anything up here could easily fall out. So if you get something like this backpack, you're gonna wanna put some sort of foam or have some way to keep this stuff in there so it doesn't fall out on your trip. Now, other than that, I think that's the main downside to this pack. Other than that, I really like it. it it's got a lot of room, as I said. You can you know travel with, if you use an iPad for your Mavic or 
whatever you have, it'll fit in here, no problem. This is definitely the roomiest pack, and it is nice because it's got this hard case on the top, you know, so if somebody throws a suitcase on the top, it most likely is gonna be fine. I don't like the bump here, but at the same time, I think that really helps it reduce shock and probably makes it stronger for impact. So overall, Light Take, I feel like did a pretty good job on this pack. I hope you guys like this review of the Light Take hard shell backpack. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, you may wanna subscribe. I also have other review videos of packs and accessories and all kinds of stuff for the Mavic Pro. I'm gonna be doing some more repair videos for the Mavic Pro as well as I did just crash mine. So you may want to subscribe so you can make sure and see those videos. Leave any questions or comments in the comment section below and I'm happy to answer them when I get a chance. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.